Now the Women's Euros start in two weeks' time and two of the tournament venues are right here in Yorkshire. Sheffield's Brummel Lane and Rotherham's New York Stadium will host eight matches, including a quarter-final and a semi-final. Assuming the Lionesses progress through the tournament, they'll play their semi-final in Sheffield. Mark Hansel has this. Excitement is building in South Yorkshire as Sheffield and Rotherham gear up to host the best countries in Europe. Baroness Sue Campbell is in charge of the women's game at the Football Association. She thinks the Euros could be a catalyst for change. This is a wonderful opportunity to showcase where football has got to. Great players, it'll be full stadiums we hope. Uh, and it's a lovely atmosphere in the women's game. It's a, it's a real family affair. So, you know, we want people to come along and really enjoy it. And for those who want it, we want those opportunities to be there. We don't want them to be told, as I was, sorry, girls don't play football. That has to go now. Eight matches are going to be played in Yorkshire, including a quarterfinal here at the New York Stadium in Rotherham. And a semi-final here at Bramall Lane in Sheffield, where the Lionesses will play their semi-final, assuming they can make it that far. Five members of the squad are from our region, including Whitby's Beth Mead. She believes women's football is unique. The women's game is a lot more personable. I love interacting with the fans, whether it's for England or Arsenal. You know, I like to see people after games and. You know, they bring the atmosphere, they bring the buzz to why you play football and, you know, without the fans, which we we realised a lot in Covid when there was no one there, that you need the fans there, it's part of football and we appreciate them as much as they appreciate watching us. The England men's manager, Gareth Southgate, is also one of our own. He lives in Yorkshire. Gareth thinks the tournament taking place here could propel the Lionesses to victory. Well, it will be the biggest Euros there's been for a start. Um, and the fact that it's hosted here, there's a massive legacy piece for women's football, but also it's brilliant for the team because to have that home advantage, to have that warmth of the fans, we felt that last summer and, and the women are going to feel that this, this year. All of the tournament's 31 games will be broadcast live on the BBC and it starts on Wednesday the 6th of July. Mark Ansell, BBC Look North.